Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back, everyone. Now, with Valentine's Day right around the corner, I decided to come up with a list of my top five creative ways to sweeten up your Valentine this year with something thoughtful. So these are one of the latest silly trends to hit the internet, but I think they're perfect for that quirky couple. You can personalize underwear or socks with your face on them. It's a cute way to remind your partner that you'll always be by their side. Plus you can even use a photo of your pet or your child's photo if that's more appropriate. Obviously not on your underwear, but maybe the socks. Just, you know, someone you love. Also, you can't go wrong with a spa day or an R&R inspired gift. So I think sometimes we lose sight of self care and you can't go wrong with a couple's massage. Of course, some people just aren't into getting a rub down from a stranger. Hey, I don't blame you, but you could even come up with a nice care package, maybe with some wine, a bath bomb, even one of those cool bath trays that spreads across your bathtub if your girl or guy likes to take a bath some new lotions or maybe a free pass for a massage from you. Huh, thoughtful, affordable, you're not gonna break the bank with this and it's definitely going to encourage some nice, special, intimate time with your partner. So I think it's a win-win. All right, well now, we know the go-to for many men out there may be some lingerie, which is great, but take note of what your partner will really get use out of. So if your girl or guy is someone who prefers to sort of be cozy and lounge around the house, you might wanna consider maybe a comfy bathrobe, some nice house shoes, and it might be sort of a sweeter gift, letting your partner know that you pay attention to what brings them joy. Of course, a little personalization can go a long way. In my case, we're getting married, so we could do like a hubby wifey thing. You could get your name put on there. There's lots of really cute creative ways to make it special. So use your imagination, and I think you still have time to order some things like that. Okay, so this next one is a gift that keeps on giving. I'm really proud of this one, why? Well, you can always remind your Valentine how much you love them all year long. Subscription boxes are really, really popular right now and they do the thinking for you. So if you get online and look, there are a ton to choose from. For example, if your lady likes makeup, you can try an Ipsy bag. Uh, for a jewelry lover, there is another one called Rocks Box, which are both, those are both monthly. You can do a cooking one if your girl's trying to eat healthier. And there's even one that's more of a seasonal gift, like the one called Fab Fit Fun. Um, it's a seasonal box and it has a variety of products that every woman would love. So those are some things to consider. But uh, while doing my research, I discovered there are quite a few subscription box boxes specifically made for men. So we can't leave you guys out of there. If he's on the geeky side, you can check out Loot Crate, which has some cool kind of gamer themed gifts in there. You can also check out Birchbox and Harry's. Those are nice for up to date grooming products. If your guy's like rocking a beard or likes to kind of have that nice smelling aftershave or uh, nice smelling products, period, you can try one of those. And then there are some clothing options too. There's a box called the Gentleman's Box that sends a variety of stylish men accessories. So you're talking glasses, watches, ties, some little cuff links, and those are great for your businessman who likes to stay on trend. Um, it's a monthly subscription. There's even some beer subscription. So if your guy is into those IPAs, that might be an option for you. So if you Google subscription boxes for him or her, you'll find a ton to choose from, and you can thank me later. Last but not least, some couples might just say Valentine's Day is overrated and they really don't care much to make a fuss of it. They might be lying, but um, maybe you're just old fashioned, right? So it's still a great excuse to have just a good old date night with some store-bought flowers followed by a romantic dinner and maybe a movie or a night at the theater. There's always something at the theater. Or you can just do a good old bowling alley date. That's where my fiance and I had our first date. Uh, that's a classic move that never fails and it's destined to pay off. So I hope you guys got some great pointers for my Valentine's Day themed top five. Of course, these work any time of the year. 